Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day. It's super bright where we're at, but we're still in Kentucky. I know I say that all the time, but welcome to the Keto Mom page. If you're brand new, we are in Kentucky. You can't really see it because the sun is shining in this room, but we actually got snow here yesterday. And so it's absolutely beautiful, but where are you tuning in from and how was your day? It's Sunday, so I say that because I treat Sundays as a prep day. Now, I understand that a lot of you, everybody has different schedules, right? So somebody may run maybe a Sunday to a Friday. Whatever it looks like for you, I feel like the, the average person that goes to work Monday through Friday, their kids are in school, we treat Sunday as a prep day. And I got the question today, what does it look like for you to prep? Like, how do you prep your week? Or what do you do to get ready for a good week? Or what do I do to prep for this week, right? And so that's what we're gonna talk about and Oh, where are you from? Where are we? We're in Kentucky, so sorry. But wherever you're tuning in from, let us know. So really quick, who on here preps on Sundays? Meaning, are you getting ready for this entire week? Because in our family, we say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. What does that mean? It's easy to rush through your weekend, maybe enjoy your weekend, right? And I know a lot of people go, well, Saturday and Sundays are my day off, right? But what happens if you get to Monday and you don't have anything prepped? It's easy to go through the drive through It's easy to get frustrated. It's easy to skip the gym. Uh, all of those things. And so we're going to talk about a couple of things that we do here in our home. Sorry, I look so bright. I thought it would be kind of fun to do it in here because my girls are watching a movie in the other room. Uh, but maybe it's a little bright. I could always turn. Maybe that would be better. I feel like it's so bright in here. So anyways, what does it look like to prep? This is what our day looked like. We got home from church today and we kind of tell the girls it's all hands on deck. A lot of hands make light work. And so I love to just go through the entire house and get garbages clean, toilets clean, bedrooms picked up, laundry put away. We started clothes like that to me is a part of prepping for this week because we probably won't get a lot of that done later on. And so I don't know what that looks like for you, but to prep for this next week for me to feel like we're gonna have a really good week or to be able to do things that maybe pop up or to be able to go places or whatever the case may be, if our toilets are cleaned, if our laundry is mostly put away and the rooms are picked up, I feel like that just sets our week kind of just ahead. So that's the number one thing that we do is we come home from church and we go all hands on deck. And so we scrub toilets, took the garbage out and we just kind of picked and tidied up. That would be number one. Number two, I asked everybody what, like prepping your food. So like I wrote down some of our meals we're gonna have. This is, well, I can't even really read it. My whiteboard marker is going out, but we're gonna have chicken this, well, I'm gonna go to Costco as soon as I'm done with, I'm done talking to you. And the girls wanted chicken tacos. And so I'll be sharing that later this week, but we're gonna have chicken tacos. And then if I go to Costco, I end up getting a lot of chicken. So I'll turn the rest of the chicken into chicken dip. And so it's this yummy chicken in like a cream cheese, sour cream, bacon, you bake it, and then you can dip like vegetables in it. You could dip, my girlfriend makes, she takes these low carb wraps. They're not gluten free, but low carb wraps. And she cuts them in little squares and makes little chips. Um, so we might do something like that, but the girls love this chicken dip, or you can eat the chicken dip on top of like asparagus or broccoli. It's really, really, really good. So we're having chicken tacos, chicken dip. We have chili. All of those three things usually make a big batch. So it will carry us into a majority of the week. And then my husband wanted some steaks. So I'll usually pick up some steaks and vegetables and then I'll just randomly have chili or um, vegetables and salads and things like that. But what I do for Sundays is I prep our meals, meaning, okay, I wrote down what we're gonna have. I wrote down the entire list that I needed at the grocery store. This not only will save you time at the grocery store, it's going to save you money. If you go to the grocery store with no list, you end up grabbing stuff off the shelves that you don't need. You come home and, has, have you ever came home and go, I got a lot of groceries and I have no idea what I'm gonna make? That, that's me. So there's a lot of things I need. I made a list so that when I go to the grocery store, I can grab all of those things. And so honestly, I feel like a prep day, sometimes people go, that sounds like a lot of work. It really isn't. I feel like it's just making sure I've got clean clothes, the house is picked up, I got our meals planned so I know what we're gonna eat. I have groceries in the cupboard so I don't have to run to the grocery store later or run through a drive-through because we're running late. 
And so all of those little things will help you have a better week. If your gym clothes are clean and your tennis shoes are set by the door and your kids, kids clothes are clean, so you're trying to get them off to school and you've got coats hung up and shoes and socks put away, like all of those little things will help you have a better attitude. It will help you get out the door faster. It will help you not go through the drive through It will just help your mental state. And so that's what we do here at our home. So we're almost done and then I probably will go through my calendar in a little bit and map out what I have this week and then map out some business stuff that we're gonna do. So we do lots of different things called like Zooms and Facebook Lives and trainings with our team. And so I'll go through the rest of my calendar for the week, figure out what we have this week and I'll write that out. That's what we do. So I would love for you to share like what does your weekly prep look like or if you don't usually prep today for your week, like what is one thing you're going to do today to get ready for your week? Because it's not trying to implement all of the things in one shot. It's going, you know what? I'm gonna have a great week. I would love for to do one thing. So I would encourage you to pick one thing and do it. Go put your laundry away. Put all the shoes by the door. You wanna know what really helps if you have little kids? I'll give you a fun little hack as a mom. We do this in Minnesota is I have a little bit, a bucket by our door and all of the clean socks go in the bucket right by the tennis shoes. They stay there. So as soon as I wash them, they might be folded together, they might not be, but we keep an entire sock bin by the door so that when my kid, I don't know if your kids don't wear socks, but my kids always have their socks off and I'm like, where are your socks? And so for all of you mamas out there, like that will save you a ton of time. Wash the socks, put them in a bin, put them by the tennis shoes primo primo tip and so maybe that will help you this week maybe you should implement that uh, lastly I will share my grocery list so I'll show you after I go to Costco and I will share with you all week the meals that we're making and I'll share the recipe with you as well so that's what we're making and then lastly for those of you who've been asking watch tomorrow be watching tomorrow for the unleashed eclipse so a lot of you've been asking about this flavor we did a little video on my Stephanie Milky page. So on my personal page, we did a little taste test with some friends and my girls. And if you've been around for a while, this used to be, it would be similar to our old Black Midnight. It was a black one and it kind of stained your teeth black. We loved the flavor, it was like a black cherry. But um, they, I don't know, for whatever reason, they changed the formulation and they didn't get it quite right. Now they are re-bringing it back out. This is phenomenal. It tastes like a black cherry. Um, I absolutely love it. So for those of you who are already drinking Unleashed, it's got more ketones and more caffeine. So for those of you who've been asking why it's called Unleashed versus our Keto Nat. And so be watching tomorrow because I'll be talking about this on my Instagram story. So you can go follow me on Keto Mom online on Instagram and we'll be talking about this. And then for those of you who do grab this or you have questions, I've got 10 more of these hacked magazines. So the first 10 people that message me, I was going through these today and I was like, man, this is a really good magazine. So this magazine is created by Prove It, but in here, there are personal stories of people's lives being changed. There's a ton of information from doctors and experts in the ketone space. Um, just kind of some medical things, some science articles. Like for those of you who love to read about this stuff, for the first 10 people that message me, I'll mail you one of these. Like this, this book right here. A lot of you ask me for a ketogenic diet resource or anything about ketones. So if you do not have this book, this ketogenic diet book, this ketogenic Bible. It's by Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson. Um, that is a phenomenal book. Besides having some great uh, recipes in there, there's some great articles. A lot of people love to know medical questions and I'm not a doctor, so that would help you and this magazine would just be a good resource for you. So I thought I would share that with you. Message me tomorrow for the first, after you see this go, for the first 10 people that grab some of the Unleashed and I will let you know tomorrow when it's available. I will send you one of these magazines because it's I think it's a great magazine and it's super helpful and it's fun to read through and it just gives you a lot of um, education which Prove It loves to do. So thought I would share that with you and so I will share my recipes this week and I will share my grocery list. Please share with us like what you do. But what did somebody ask? You can get the book on Amazon. Maybe I should just scroll here through here real quick if you don't care. The magazine is awesome. You can get the book on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. You can probably even just go to a Barnes & Noble. I will share the chicken dip for sure with you later. 
share what you guys are actually something else that would be super great is if you would share your menu for this week so if you've already prepped and ready to go why don't you share your menu of what you're having because people love to watch and look through and scroll through to see what other people are having gives them different ideas and we keep our meals pretty simple so I think that's it I will let you know I will, I will post my shop, my, my list of groceries for sure. So I appreciate you all. I'm heading to the grocery store because Sundays it closes early. And I will share all of that with you. Please, please share your prep tips or things that you do today to prep for your week so other people can have some good ideas. And we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.